Hello again, my name is Romeo and we are here live in the Autarian studio with Lawrence Meyer, our CEO and co-founder. One of the terms that at first really gave me some things to think about was Autarian Enterprise PX4. It's such a big term and I had to get my head around it and think, what is this? And Lawrence, Autarian Enterprise PX4, what is it? And how does it benefit an end user? So it benefits the enterprise and with that it benefits the end user. Um, so that's quite nebulous. Um, but it is, it is the core essence. And let's, un let's unpack this a little bit. So from an end user perspective, what's important as we talked in an earlier segment, open source is fantastic technology driven by community and user innovation by global developer communities. That also means the interest of this developer community is to create the best technology. It's not necessarily um, creating a great product. And so typically what happens, uh, and we as open source developers have to be frank about that, is that open source software sometimes is pretty hard to use, pretty hard to install. Now, it's still great technology, so that's where taking it from technology to product and taking it from developer community to the enterprise comes in. And what this means is the same thing as enterprise Linux is a thing. Enterprise PX4 is flight control software and drone management software like the full stack for the enterprise. So it's not for developers, it's for real operators that have jobs that need to run surveys, that need to run inspections, that need to fight fires, that have public safety duties. And it needs to be easy to use. It needs to be easy to install. It needs to be easy to upgrade. You should not have, as a police officer, to go on GitHub, download source code, compile it on your computer, and then flash it to your drone, and then first having to do all sorts of flight tests to verify that you haven't run into a regression. And this is what open source life would look like for any police officer. So you need somebody, somebody in between, like Otarian, who is taking that great technology, runs it through a proper product QA process, maybe takes off the one or the other rough edge, and then makes it available to a police officer or to somebody, to a surveyor running, running inspections or mapping. Um, what is also important, you, you started with uh, Autarian Enterprise PX4. That obviously is a product name. And that's okay because Autarian provides PX4, which is the baseline kernel, so to speak, um, as a commercial software distribution. Now, let's talk about what is PX4 because PX4 stands on its own feet. It is the, what we call upstream and what that means is sort of the original source open source project, the same way as Linux is the upstream open source project of Red Hat or of Ubuntu. And they all have the same relationship. So as a U Linux user, you might have heard, or even as not a Linux user, you might have heard of Red Hat or you might have heard of Ubuntu. And that's what people install. That's the end product. But it's all built around the Linux kernel. And so what we do as a company is to build Altarian Enterprise PX4 around the PX4 kernel, which is the great technology that makes drones fly and rovers drive and enables an autonomous system to navigate in its space. So we've learned a lot of topics already. In our next segment, we're going to look at Mavlink a term that looks and sounds so cool and my first thought always was Top Gun. So let's see how close I was. <laughs>